आते हैं Assalamualaikum. <gülüyor> Allah Azze ve Celle itaat edecekse. Allah Almighty mentions in the Holy Quran the importance of, obe- of obedience. İman edenler Allah Azze ve Celle itaat edin. Allah Almighty addresses the believers and he calls upon the mu'mins so that they may obey Allah Almighty. Peygamber Efendimiz'e they may obey the Prophet peace and blessings be upon him and they shall obey their leaders Allah Almighty orders the believers and addresses the believers so that they shall obey Allah Almighty the Prophet peace be upon him and their leaders the ones who have been appointed to be their heads those who follow this rule will find will find comfort and peace. Yok, yani başına göre yapacak olunca. However, if you make up your own way. Başına işler açar. And if you follow your own thoughts, then you will end up in making troubles for yourself. Bir fayda olmaz. And there will be no benefit in what you do. Allah Azza wa Jalla itaat ilk başta Allah Azza wa Jalla'ya. First and foremost, we need to obey Allah Almighty. Peygamber Efendimiz tabi. Then of course, the way as shown by, by our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him. Onun emirlerini tebliğ eden, ulil emirde sizin başınızda olanlar. Because our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, is who taught us the rules and orders and commands of Allah Almighty. And then third, we must also obey those who are our leaders. Onların e, size yani küfür e, ya küfre girin demedikçe onlara itaat. By this divine command, we are obliged to obey our leaders unless they force us to disbelieve. Etmekte fayda var. And there is blessing and benefit in obeying our leaders herkes Allah Azze ve Celle bir ona göre bir meziyet vermiş everyone has a certain talent and Allah Almighty has given everyone a respective talent and there are people who have the talent to lead şey hasret vermiş onu herkes yapamaz and not everyone may be able to do what others are capable of doing o işleri herkes kendi işine baksın. Therefore everyone should focus on their talents and do what their job is. Başkasının işine karışmasın. And they should not interfere with others affairs. Ee, dünyada ne kadar yaşayacaksak herkes kendi yolunda gider. This life is only a limited time. And it's not worth interfering with others' affairs. Everyone should focus on their own way. Bu yol Allah Azze ve Celle'nin gösterdiği yol olursa. And the way you should focus should be your way. You should make Allah Almighty's way to be your way. And if your way is the way of Allah Almighty. Kurtulsa erer. Then you will obtain salvation. Yok. Kendi kafasına göre olursa. However, if you make up your own way based on your own thoughts, devamlı ya kurtulur ya kurtulmaz. Then you, it's not sure whether you will be saved or not. Peygamber sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem buyuruyor, ahir zamanın e, işaretlerinden. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, 
mentions the sign of the end of times. And one of the signs our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, mentions is that in the end of times, people will only cons will always consider their own opinions and express their own opinions and only consider their own opinions and thoughts to be always superior to other people's thoughts. And they will not like each other's thoughts or do not will not respect each other's thoughts. Demokrasi dedikleri şeydir. Siz söyleyebilirsin nedir o? O insanları mutlu etmek değil, mutsuz etmek içindir. And we now live in exactly that age which is labeled as to be democracy. It is a time where everyone expresses their thoughts in order to crush the other, where people consider their, their thoughts and their opinions superior to other people's thoughts. And this is not to the benefit of humanity, but rather to the detriment of humanity. Things would run smooth, would run smoothly if you just simply obeyed and would not interfere. But if you interfere with other people's affairs and constantly complain about what goes wrong and how you would do things different and do, do better. Then you will spend the life complaining and you will be adding problems and troubles to, to life in this world which is already filled with troubles and problems. And these complaints will not lead to any benefit. Dünya işlerini, dünya ahline bırakırsın. However, if you left these worldly affairs to the people who have the responsibility to lead in the in terms of these worldly matters, Allah sana hizmet edecek başına insanlar koymuş. If you if you left worldly affairs to those who lead lead this world. Her şey o yapacak insanlar var. Sen you must know that there are people who are have the responsibility and who whom Allah Almighty appointed to lead these worldly affairs. Kendi haline bakıp and you should just leave the world to them and focus on yourself. Halalından hayat yaşayıp you should try to make a living in a halal manner. And then you will leave this world and move on to the next world in a beautiful way. However, if you complain and if you interfere with those worldly affairs and those worldly leaders, then you there will be no benefit or no use for you. May Allah Almighty make us to be those who obey. Allah Azza wa Jalla Peygamber'e We are obliged to obey the commands of Allah Almighty, our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him. İtaat etmektir. And to obey our beloved Prophet, peace be upon him, means to obey Allah Almighty. Nefsine itaat eden devamlı problemler, devamlı... If you obey your ego, then you will constantly encounter problems and troubles. Kötü son olur, Allah muhafaz etsin. And you will have a bad end. May Allah Almighty protect us. Allah insanlara bu güzel şeyleri yapmalarına yardım etsin ki May Allah Almighty help and support us to do these good things Şimdiki insanlar ne kadar itaat etmesek o kadar daha iyi değil zannediyorlar People these days think that the more they disobey the better they do Kendilerine zarar veriyor But by living this way, they are rather harming themselves. And they are also harming others. May Allah Almighty protect us from the evil of our egos.